In this video, we'll generate the trend line and polynomials of the Rayleigh distribution, both in the probability density function and the cumulative distribution function. We begin with the values of sigma. So data validation, list of items from one to three. So our value of sigma ranges from one up to three. We can start with one. And the value of k, which is data validation, list of items, 0 or 1. And we can start with 0. Now the data set of the probability density function for Rayleigh. This is equal to, we can start with the exponent. So our formula, the exponent of the exponents. And the same thing with the, and we modify. That is negative 0.5 times x squared. So that is negative 0.5 times x squared. And finally, we're to two more so we divide by sigma squared so this is divided by sigma raised to the power 2 and the whole expression divided by sigma squared so it is divided by sigma raised to the power 2 and right outside there is an x times the exponent so you multiply this by the x values and we chart this we insert chart and we will use scatter chart Just row one as header. Customize show the trend line polynomial to the sixth degree. For the label, use the equation and the legend position at the bottom. So here's our trend line and polynomial. We continue with the next column to show the Taylor McLaurin series sum, which is the summation of a times x to the power 2n plus 1 plus k all over sigma squared. And the value of a is the coefficient negative 1 to the power n over factorial n plus k times 2 to the n plus k times sigma to the power 2n. And the value of n is from 0 to infinity. In this case, 16 is good enough. Now we continue with the coefficient. So this is equal to our a formula. That's uh, factorial. Our minus 1 raised to the power n. Divided by. There are three parts. The first part is factorial n plus k the second part the second part is 2 to the power n plus k so 2 raised to the power the quantity n plus k and finally the third part times sigma raised to the power 2n so raised to the power the quantity 2 times n and enter now we can complete the Taylor-McLaurin series sum expansions r formula 
see the sum of the x values raised to the power 2n plus 1 plus k where 2n plus 1 starts from 1 plus k so 1 plus k that's the starting point and incremented by 2n so 2n starts from 0 to infinity so 2 4 6 8 so that is the interval is 2 and the coefficient coefficient a will be this range and they are all the same the values are exactly almost the same there's an error here but they're exactly the same up to this portion that's because our n value is not reaching infinity it's only 16 so it's still a good approximation now we complete the chart we modify the chart edit chart and show the trend line polynomial to the sixth degree for the label use the equation so here's the equation so the values are exactly the same so this is the probability density function if k equals 1 we'll have the cumulative distribution function which is this column we continue with this column so this will be equal to r a formula exponent let's start with the exponent exponent x and then there is no yellow so we change this to green edit chart series we change the yellow to green now it's changed to green and we will modify the sizes of later on and there is a one minus so we factor in one minus after that we inside here we have 0.5 times x squared over sigma squared so this will be minus 0.5 times x squared that's x squared so raised to the power 2 divided by sigma squared so sigma raised to the power 2 and enter and we'll calculate the polynomial regression coefficient after we complete this equation so edit chart series trend line polynomial to the sixth degree and use the equation as label so here we have the equation and for the series the point size will be maximum except for the expansion the point size will be none and the point size the line thickness will be maximum so here we have the trend line polynomials the vertical axis we can simplify that it will be from the number format will be none now that's better so we'll calculate this polynomial regression coefficient using the Linus matrix. To do that, we complete the Linus matrix. Starting with the power. Our power will be 
equal to transpose 0 to 6. And the elements of the matrix. So this is equal to R a formula, R a formula of the x values raised to the power. This will be raised to the power. zero to six we have to raise this now we can calculate linus starting with the probability density function data y and this will be data x and the expansion linus data y and dot x and the cumulative distribution function linus data y and dot x so we, we can compare so we can Let's start with the largest at uh, sigma equals 3. We can increase this. So there's something wrong with our data set here. We can correct that. This can be corrected. We missed the sigma squared. So this is divided by sigma squared divided by sigma raised to the power 2 then enter now we can they can toggle k equals 0 and k equals 1 so we can start with the coefficient coefficient of x to the 0 all these are zero. That's 10 to the minus 4. 3.28 times 10 to the minus 34. 4.5 times 10 to the minus 34. Negative 1.41 times 10 to the minus 34. So these are all zeros. Coefficient of x, 0 0.111. 3.28 times 10 to the minus 5. 3.2 and times 10 to the minus 5. Coefficient of x squared, 5.08 times 10 to the minus 5. 5, 5, 0, 5, 5, 4, 0, 5, 5, 4. Coefficient of x cubed, that's 6.07 times 10 to the minus 3, 2.87 times 10 to the minus 4, 2.87 times 10 to the minus 4. Coefficient of x to the fourth, one, negative 1. 1.11 times 10 to the minus 4, 1.79 times 10 to the minus 3. Negative. All negative. So 2 point, this is coefficient of x to the fifth, 2.37 times 10 to the minus 4, 1.1 times 10 to the minus 4, 1.1 times 10 to the minus 4. Coefficient of x to the sixth, minus 2.12 <coughs> times 10 to the minus 5, 7.71 7 times 10 to the minus 6. We can toggle this to 1 or 0. The expansion approximates the probability density function toggle this to one expansion the expansion now approximates the cumulative distribution function likewise the data set as well if sigma equals 2.5 so and we toggle this to zero the expansion approximates probability density function Toggle this to 1, the expansion approximates the cumulative distribution function, At sigma equals 2, the expansion, we can toggle this to 0, At, at sigma equals 1.5, and we can toggle this to 1 
at sigma equals 1. You can toggle this to 0. So this completes the use of RA formula, Taylor McLaurin series sum, and Linus polynomial regression to generate the trend line and polynomials of the Rayleigh distribution.